back, I'm Julie and I'm here to do my reaction video for episode 17 of season 1 of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. In case you're a patron, this is not so much of a, as a heightened uh, reaction because I'm telling you what it is. Uh, I did my reaction video for uh, the... Uh, what is the name of it? The movie, the Captain America, the Winter Soldier movie. I did my reaction video for that. Uh, and it was it was a good movie and I want to know what is it that ties the movie with the show so far I know the Hydra and the whole thing and it might be connected to that so I want to see the show and be the judge because of that if you want to see it it's based uh, the you want to see my reaction to the movie uh, it's posted on patreon link will be in the description down below it's the uh, hidden reaction reward that is there uh, since it's something extra so you can see it there if you want it um, if you want you know um, so yeah Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. let's see what I mean the last thing we knew is that apparently hand that's my thought at the end of episode 16 which I watched like two hours ago after I wa like before I watched the movie I watched episode 16 and uh, it left off with a hand with a weird thing uh, and then they don't trust me and that is what we have left off with uh, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. so I want to see how important the movie was for this show okay I want to see that I want to see that and honestly I have to be honest I love the show more than I love the Kevin America movie I'm just saying it's just that I don't know the characters. I think I have, I should have watched the first one. There's a Nick Fury agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. What the hell is that? I have a suggestion here. Okay, I don't know what the hell is that. Anyways, uh, I have watched the Avengers before and I have watched now the Captain America, the Winter Soldier. I'm still, I haven't still watched haven't watched the Captain America and the first Avenger, which I think I should have watched first. But anyways, we are here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction video. If you do, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to see more reaction videos because I do reaction videos for a lot of show shows. Also, very important, I'm doing uncut reactions for this episode and episode 16 posted as well on Patreon and if you, in case you want to watch that you can do that by going to Patreon and that's about it let's just begin with episode 17 titled turn 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 let's begin yeah this is happening sky war what is the ship name yeah security clearance he's an agent of shield why would they have an unauthorized encrypted hotline in the cockpit she was talking Put to the theory, there, right? There's nothing there. Uh oh. They're not friendly. Oh shit. Over there. Shit. She doesn't like not being trusted. Tell us what you rerouted the plane. No, I she didn't do it. Of course, I swear. Don't. It's not me. It's not her! I don't have an encrypted hard line. I'm... Oh, just come out with that. That's all you get. Yeah. Do. I'm under orders. From who? From Fury? Fury? What was this in order? To ship me in the bloody head. Hold on. Oh, poor fix. We're not headed to Fury. Turn this around on me. Wait. Fitz? Oh, because he's hiding from the thing that Jem is trying to do. The hub. You needed an encrypted line? What's so secret? Oh, you tell me. Everyone is keeping secret. Whispering, keeping. You stay put. Oh shit! I'm pretty sure she can disarm him. Throw back from the brink, and that was real important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true, true. He knows. I know. He kind of knows a little bit. I don't remember seeing it in the disc. That blood is all over your hands too. I know. Yes, and he doesn't. Ha she doesn't have it. Don't trust him. I don't trust him. I don't know. We'll be good. No, I I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We get questioned. Let me talk. Yes. You're surprisingly bad liar, Agent Simmons. Yes, she is. I know. <laughs> I'm getting better at it. 
Yes, but she has a plan and the structure and all that. Every shield can be coming to you. What? Fitz, can you manually wire the guns to weapons control bypass our system? Did he just shot my Melinda? I trust her. I still trust her. <gasps> Shit. Okay. You go one. Apologies, ma'am. I'm just having a hard time killing the people we once called friends. Oh, shit. Are they a threat to to Hydra? Transmission I learned that in the movie. Changed. Why reveal yourself now? Guys. Why? Why? Out of the shadows, into the light. What does that mean? Hydra! Hydra! No, say that! Okay, that is how it connects oh, with the movie. After World War. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you forgot about Trip. I don't like the odds on this one. We should let your specialist out of their cage. We can use every weapon we can get. We've got to save her. So we'll yes, of course. Face the music. Even if it is the Hydra theme song. They have a they have a theme song. <laughs> okay, I knew that. If you're out, uh, the high drive is connected to. Okay. What? what? Yes. Everywhere among us. Oh Angel, God. You know where to find me, Gemma. Don't trust anyone. <clears throat> Not even Trip. I'm staring. Wait. I trust I him. I don't know. I can trust you. Because I'm trustworthy. What? <gasps> You're the one who works with the zombie robot back from the day. Oh, oh, I don't trust him. I trust him. Take I said it. I trust him. Take the first one. You try <laughs> to kill me, I'm... Make the first one that I said count. Okay, I said I trust him. Then the knife gotta distract me. No, I can't trust you. You have to admit that that was kind of hot as well. I'll fire the thing back up. Stop. It was to protect her. True, to protect Sky. Which would be okay. Where is he? Director Fury is dead. Oh, okay. Ah! Oh shit! Who the fuck dare shooting my baby? I see all these bitches. Oh, we don't want. Okay, so now they they know they think the Fury's dead. Did you know about Tahiti? She did? Oh my god, yes, I kinda knew. Why assemble this team? Why assemble this team? Wait, what? What? I evaluated what was needed and I gave the assessment to Fury and he gave you the parameters for your unit. Oh, poor thing. Do it for Fury. I did it for you to protect you. I. Oh, poor you both of them. I'm not. I think you're in love with her. With I him. You were dead. To do the clairvoyant or the yeah, secret we're up against. Hopefully, this helps prove that. Oh. I mean, I feel so bad because Melinda's here trying to protect him. He is just like fully doesn't like he doesn't trust her at all. But at the same time, Colson knew nothing. He was just a puppet here. Can you imagine how that must feel? He was proud of the team that he put together. Ultimately, he didn't put together the team. He's just Oh my god, can you imagine how he must feel? I love Garrett. I'm telling you, this signal is clogging everything up. Something terrible has happened. Prince, show me your hands! Show Jesus, motherfuckers, you scare me. Uh... Oh shit. Don't scratch Lola, though. It only took seven decades, and today is our coming out party. We have the support. Well, they're coming out that I like ten agents for all time. 
Yeah, how about no? We share Fury's fate. How about we pretend that we do? Let's be smart about this. Let's pretend we do hardcore, like hardcore, Hydra, you know, get the badge and all that. After that, we take them down. I stormed the plane, yes. Wait! That was a, a test that very few have passed. No, oh, we're dead. You're not Hydra, thank God. Well, don't celebrate just yet. Oh, not she's Hydra. not Hydra! It's your friend Coulson. Yes. Wait, what? Okay, I'm, I'm getting confused with this. He's Hydra, he's a Glyrebore, and she isn't. What? Huh? I'm getting extremely, extremely confused. The lies that up, Agent Simmons. Oh, okay, she thinks he is. The worst thing you can do right now is to underestimate Hydra. They hide in plain sight. They it's not. I love the way that everybody, like, since there's so much secrecy between the agencies and the agents and the levels, I love that Colson doesn't trust Han, Han doesn't trust Colson. You know, Han thinks Colson's Hydra. Sorry, Hy uh, Colson thinks she's Hydra. They make us like them. Are they going to show their first kiss? I have a feeling they will. Not if I don't die. True. And if I do... Oh, okay, okay, it's a little bit. What? Why? No. I killed an innocent man, this guy. Oh, okay. You didn't know it was going to hurt you. Specifically you. I'm going to shift them. I'm going to shift them. I, I like them more than I like me and him. I don't know why. Can Kiss? Grab a drink. Aww. That is sweet. Remember in that barn dump. They're gonna kiss, I told you. Dang, I told you. Aww. I like this. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Lock the door behind me. Oh no, 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 no! Oh no! Stop this nonsense! Is it over? It's war, it's war. <laughs> you should really look up the word boring in a dictionary. Yeah, yeah, true. This is a battle for Shield Soul. We're on the front lines. Okay, now I don't trust Three him. I don't trust theory. anyone. It's for Shield Soul to brainwash that bitch in the flower dress, and right now, wait, what? Probably doing the same to Agent Simmons. How he knew that? I considered it plenty. How he knew that? Simmons will be fine. Just being realistic. How he knew that? I never mentioned that. I'm telling you, killing her quick would be a he, mercy. She, he never mentioned that. I never said. You showed up right after. What are you driving? I'm oh just my God! Quinn said it was so I would lead the clairvoyant to the cure. Exactly what I did. I walked you right in there with me. Yeah, sure. true. Look, take a second. It's him. You can't trust anyone. Whoa. Any time, boys. Oh my God. Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. Shit. Everybody point your finger to everyone. Fucking hate this game. Being honest. No, John. This is you being a psychopath. <laughs> it's true. True. I know you'd follow him to the grave, so... Not this bitch. <laughs> if you volunteer. Oh, he's quiet. If not, you'll have no rank and a lot of pain. Of course, either way. My poor child. Oh, my poor child. No. Look at him I'm crying. Oh. I like you, kid. All right, let him have it. But shoot that one in the kneecaps. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he took it off. He took Melinda's handcuffs. Yes, hi, baby. 
you are. What the fuck? Can she do that to me? I will pay her for her to do that to me. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. He. Did you close your eyes when you shot? Oh, sweetie. Someone shoot this bitch in the head. next episode providence oh my god okay guys that was the end of episode 17 of season one of marvel's agents of shield is it still marvel's agents of shield or what the hell oh god okay i think i'm gonna give you one thought i think that I was going to I was going to be able to make the Hydra connection to the clairvoyant without watching the movie. I I gotta be honest, you know, because I was afraid of one thing. I was afraid that if you didn't watch the movie, the connection or the result of the clairvoyance, which have been such a big, big uh, uh, thing for pretty much, I don't know, 10, the last 10 episodes or maybe the last 9 episodes, it has been such a huge thing that my fear was that if you didn't watch the movie, you didn't got the answer. It wasn't like that. Of course, if you watch, I, I think I should have watched the movie after I watch episode 17. Why? Because I will have love to be able to just get the connection and get the answers 
from the show. I'm not saying they'll regret it, no, absolutely not, because after watching the movie and knowing, like, watching this episode, you get the backstory with Hydra. You get the bigger picture with Hydra, how much it affected everyone, and what was Hydra's ultimate plan, okay? I like the fact that I, I was able to experience this as you guys did back when this was first airing, because episode, episode 16 aired, aired first, then the movie premiere and then episode 17. So you kind of, I kind of did the same thing. I went chronologically and I did it, you know, and I watched it like that and I was able. But I don't think it was that important. I might miss a few things. Maybe in future episodes, everything that played off in the movie will play it off and will make me even more excited about the fact that I watched the movie. But to make the connection with Hydra, it wasn't necessary. Yes, you get the bigger picture, you get everything, you get the experience. But I think that after watching episode 17, I will have been able to uh, uh, watch the movie just for background rather than to look for information. I think I should have watched the episode first and then the movie. But it is what it is. I enjoy it either way. I was shocked because you never knew who the fuck to trust, you know? And I remember, may, I kind of remember, the fact that you sometimes didn't knew where war standed, you know, because I think it were, I don't remember specifically which, which episode, that he was kind of like, like we don't know, like, like, uh, like we don't know who he's working with or like who's his loyalties, where his loyalty lies and all that. Uh, so I was kind of like, I was kind of like excited uh, uh, about that, but I kind of also forgot about it. And seeing now War, who I was shipping with my girl Sky, now I'm not shipping them anymore. And seeing him like that and double cross them and actually be part of Hydra, I, I'm, in sh I'm shook. I'm shook and I'm also afraid that he's not gonna survive. I am afraid. But I have how many more episodes to go for season, which I'm totally going to watch tomorrow. One, two, four, five more episodes, five more episodes and I'm done with the series, with season one. Oh my God, that is so amazing. But I'm excited, I'm excited to know that and uh, to watch all these five episodes. Providence, the only light in the dark, nothing personal, rat tag, beginning of the end. So I'm excited to watch all those five episodes for season one because this season has been just mind-blowing. It started just as a silly show with a lot of cool CGI and like special effects and like really like characters and not, nothing dark. The only one that I didn't like was War. Then Fix got on my nerves for a while and now I love every single one of them. But War? He betrayed me. Like, I feel it in my soul. Uh, but anyways, I love the fact, like I said during the reaction, that you never knew who to trust. And even between agents, you know, between level 6, level 5, level 8, level, you know, they were distrust because they didn't knew how far Hydra got, like, was there, you know? So, I like the fact that, you know, Coulson thought the hand was a clairvoyant. Then uh, Han thought it was Coulson. And then they thought it was the, this other person. Then they thought War was a friend. Ultimately he killed Han, which I was like, attracted to and I was liking her. Like I didn't, like sometimes I didn't knew if I trust her or not. But she was hot. And she's dead now. Fuck. Anyways. Also, 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 I like the, I like the clairvoyance uh, discovery, how it, it, it developed, how it, uh, they show us who the clairvoyance was. It was Hydra, you know. It wasn't a real, someone who can predict the future. No, it was a machine. It was, you know, it was the fact that all your history, because this, Sidwell explained this in the movie. It was like, 
all your background story, everything that you do and everything uh, makes us understand what you will do in the future and predict that. And in order, in order like, for them, they have to kill 20 million people in order for them to save 7 bi billion, because they, billions, they, because they thought those 20 million people posed a threat to Hydra based on records and all that. So, I like, I like that storyline. I like it because to reveal it as in, it's a clairvoyance, and reveal it as in someone like, you know, someone like that, um, um, an actual psychic and, and kind of go into this like supernatural kind of thing. I like how they actually resolve this by giving us technology, by giving us what is currently happening in the world and giving us facts rather than just crazy as, of course it's still sci-fi, but give us, giving us uh, uh, not something supernatural and nothing like that, it was just based on facts it is a still sci-fi, but, you know, giving us a possibility that they could happen. If technology reaches that point, it could happen. Maybe it already reached. Maybe a Hydra is rising somewhere. It gives you that conspiracy theories that you can do and all that. I loved it. I loved this episode. I loved the, I loved the previous one. I didn't think that I was missing out if I, I'm sorry, if I could have watched the movie after watching episode 17, but I'm glad that I, I, I went to, like, do, do this without, uh, like, doing it chronologically as you guys did, as most of you guys did. Uh, so yeah, anyways, I don't think I have to watch any other movie. If I do, next time, I'm not even, I'm not gonna watch the movie until I watch the episode that is supposed to resolve the things. I'm gonna give the show priority, I'm gonna trust that the show is going to be able to explain things to me. The show was able to explain things to me. If I forget, if I put the information I knew about Hydra in a box, lock it in there, like, put it away, I was still going to be able to, I feel like I was going to be able to understand it. I feel like that, I feel like I was going to be able to understand that reveal with Hydra, but it did give me a lot of background, and maybe that's why I feel like that, or maybe I trust myself too much, but I think I was going to be able to do it, I'm just saying, but I, I don't regret watching the movie, That I, that's what I want to tell you guys, I don't regret watching the movie first, I think it gave me a lot of background, and I think that I'm going to be able to understand the storyline a lot better in general, but not specifically for episode 17, I think they did an amazing job at explaining things, because I was afraid that if I didn't watch the movie, I wasn't going to understand, but I think they did, like I said, a fantastic job letting us know enough so we can continue watching. So, so if someone just doesn't like the movies and don't want to watch the movies, they can still watch the show without having the necessity of watching the movies, which I love that. So yeah, thank you so much, guys, for enjoying this. If you want to watch the full on-call reaction video for this episode and for episode 16, you can do that by going to Patreon link. will be in the description down below. And also, if you want to watch the, um, the uh, reaction video for the movie, you can do that as well. Link as well is going to be in the, re on the uh, description down below. So yeah, thank you so much. Oh, 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 before I go. I feel so bad for May. May is someone who has been told, like... From the beginning, they, it was like she's the cavalry, she's a badass, she doesn't have feelings and things like that. How much she cares and loves Colson and ultimately loves the team, it's, it just breaks my heart that now, uh, in order for her to try to protect Colson, now Colson doesn't trust her. And for her, it's really important that, that uh, Colson does trust her. And I. She was so hopeful when he was like, are you putting me back in the team? I'm still with you. And he was like, you're not a friend. You're just an ally. And it, you, you clearly can see that she was hurt by that. And I have to admit, the actress does a... There's, there's a thing sometimes with actor, actors in general, not just actresses, but actors in general, when they, like for instance, with war, which they are so, like, 
cold characters, you know, they don't show too much emotion, that when they do, it can either be awkward because you always see them play the cold part, or it can be, it can give them more depth. And both actors, uh, the actress who plays Melinda and the actor who plays War, they are amazing at letting us know that, you know, they are not as cool as they might seem, you know, that they have feelings, that they, and they show you, you can see in her face, her face changes from the cold agent to the friend who is worried, and you see it in her face, in her eyes, her eyes bleeding, like, hopeful that Colson will say, yes, friend, you, I understand, but of course he, ha he needs time, but I just love the fact that she, you know, her, how much she can, she can transmit with her face, how much emotions she can give with her face, even when she's like the stone cold person, even like that, she's expressing a lot, and I just, I love her, I fucking love her. Anyways, that's all I'm gonna say. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys for episode 18. Uh, I don't know when. I'm gonna watch it tomorrow, but I'm not, I don't know when it's going to be over. But thank you so much for all your support. I'll see you guys next time for another reaction video for Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Mwah. I was trying to wink. Okay, <laughs> Mwah. bye guys.